happy Friday from Bonded. I wanted to talk to you guys about a topic that is near and dear to my heart, and that is one of my pet peeves. Not my worst pet peeve, but one of my pet peeves. My worst pet peeve is people that are late, so just so you know, that's my worst pet peeve. I wanted to talk to you about my second to worst pet peeve. But before I do that, what kind of lawyer would I be if I didn't give a couple of disclaimers? My first disclaimer is that I think that talking about and discussing the positive aspects of friendship are so important, especially amongst women, and we want to do that. But here at Bonded, we also think it's really important that we sort of deep dive into all of the complexities of friendship, sometimes even the tough sides of friendship. So that's sort of what I want to talk about today. My other disclaimer is that if you have an emergency or you're just exhausted, none of this applies. Like, it's never worth affecting your physical health to meet all of my pet peeves. Not worth it. So anyways, my pet peeve, my second to worst pet peeve is people who are non-committal. And I will fully acknowledge that part of that is probably because I am an anal person. I am a lawyer. I am detail-oriented. I schedule everything. I totally realize that part of this might be me. But it's also something that I've noticed so much in my 20s is that people never want to commit to something. They're very wishy-washy about it. They'll say they'll be there and they won't. And maybe I'll demonstrate by example and that's the best way. So I know I've planned a number of dinners for people and I said, you know, come over, we'll have dinner. And gone out and bought all the food and all the booze because Lord knows you're not coming to my house and not having Pinot Noir. So I've done that, started prepping dinner, and the person bailed for whatever reason. And it was never an emergency or physical ailment or anything. And I can just tell you that it hurt my feelings and it sucks when people don't prioritize you when they tell you they're going to do something. And that's something I've noticed a lot at my age. I hope that that will change as I get older. And I don't know if it's just our generation or what it, if everybody is like that, but it's something that I've noticed a lot. And I think that especially as women, that we can do better at saying exactly what we want. And maybe that's what it is. Maybe as women, we've been so trained to not tell people what we really want to do and what our hearts are fully invested in. And so we just say, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. I'm totally down. And maybe that's what it is. And I honestly would love to hear some other people's feedback on this topic because I'm, I'm so curious. Um, you know, I think as I've gotten older, I've gotten better at telling people when I want to do something and when I don't, and I wasn't as good at this when I was younger. So maybe that's just something you learn as you grow up. Um, another example is something I've noticed is people who will stack their calendars full of all kinds of, commit to like everything and then really only go to one or two things and sort of just scratch you off the list last minute. I feel like maybe the key is last minute. But I wanted to, I you know, I wanted to throw this out there and see if anybody else has experienced this in their 20s, people who are non-committal, people who don't follow through, and how you handle this. So the way that I handle this is by being direct, as direct as I possibly can. And if somebody does this to me and it offends me, then I will tell them. Um, I try and be understanding. I mean, people and people have life and things that come up and kids and family and pets, and I 100% I get that. What I want to know is if this is just something we've started kind of doing as of late in our culture, um, if this is something anybody else has experienced, and I would love to hear about what you guys have to say, please hit us up on at being bonded at our Instagram or on Twitter at being bonded or on Facebook at being bonded um, and how you handle it because I would love to get some advice and feedback. Bye guys, have a great weekend.